this day. Let's get excited. Today, I'm going to give you some quick reminders for your exam. The first thing you should write down on your formula sheet is doctor has an ID. Remember, the X values are the domain and independent variables, and the Y is range and dependent variables. Parallel lines. Remember, parallel lines will have the same slopes. In this example, the two slopes of the lines are one half. Perpendicular lines. Remember, perpendicular lines will have opposite reciprocal slopes. In this example, we have a slope of negative three halves and a slope of two thirds. There are four slopes of a line, first being a positive slope, a line increasing, negative slope, a line decreasing, zero slope, horizontal line, and a undefined slope, vertical line. One way to write a linear equation is in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b, where m will represent your slope and b will represent your y-intercept. Inequalities. The first symbol is the less than symbol, Next is the greater than symbol. Next is the less than or equal to, or at most, or no more than. And finally, the greater than or equal to symbol, or at least, or no less than. Correlation. There are three correlations. Positive correlation, where the points increase in a linear pattern. Negative correlation, where the points decrease in a linear pattern and no correlation, where there is no linear pattern. Is it a function? Remember, x's don't repeat. It has to pass the vertical line test. Parent functions. The first parent function is the linear parent function, which can be described as y equals x. Next, we have the quadratic parent function, which is y equals x squared. And we have the exponential function, which is y equals a times b to the x power. Solving equations. Solving equations is the process of getting your variables alone. The quadratic function is a parabola. It can either have a minimum vertex or a maximum vertex. It also can have 0, 1, or 2 x-intercepts, which are also called roots, zeros, or solutions. Lastly, it has the axis of symmetry, which is a vertical line that goes through the vertex. Tips for answering word problems. First, identify the question. Next, identify any variables. Third, identify any formulas on the formula chart. Fourth, set up any equations. And finally, solve those equations. Tips for answering multiple choice questions. First, read the question twice. Next, try to eliminate two of your choices. Three, not here is typically not a correct answer. Fourth, read your question again. And finally, try plugging in your choices. Don't let the calculator be your brain, but don't be afraid to use it. Remember, y and f of x are the same. Use Control t to get a table if you're in graphs. And if you are given a table on your test, use lists and spreadsheets to get the equation. Final tips. Stay positive. Next, use formula chart and graph paper that's provided. Take one question at a time. Eliminate any choices, and don't second-guess yourself. Finally, do your best. You can do this.